messed up genetics that are going to be involved if we have some kind of breakdown or degenerative disease or something wrong in the body. But what doctors don't tell us and what they don't realize is that genetics change in response to our environment. The environment that the genes and the cells are sitting in. Yes, the genetics of ALS is different from the genetics of normal patients. ALS patients have a different genetic profile. But the genetic changes that are associated with ALS follow cell breakdown, inflammation, starvation, suffocation, and toxification. And if you're really interested in preventing or reversing ALS, you're not going to work at the genetic level. You're going to work at the starvation, suffocation, and toxification level. We'll talk about this tomorrow. It's very, very important. Got a bunch of calls I want to get to. We'll continue talking about ALS and what you can do if you have ALS. And then we'll move on to our gaseous hormone, our vapor hormone. And we'll talk a little bit about how hormones work and why they're so important. All right, 855-660-4261 is our number. If you're interested in joining me in my mission to educate the world about how important a good nutritional supplement program is, love to have you on the Bright Side Ben team. Please call 866-735-2470 or head over to my website, brightsideben.com, and click on the Join the Team link. You can join the team for a one-time $10 fee. Call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to my website, brightsideben.com, and click on the Join the Team link. All right, time to hit the phones. 855-660-4261 is our number. Got a line open for you. Adam in Colorado, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? Uh, morning, Ben. Can you hear me okay? I can, but I, you need to turn your radio down because we got an echo. Uh, let me see here. Okay, how's that? Uh, I think that's better. Let's see. Yeah, go ahead. Adam? Okay, so, um, so my wife is 36 weeks pregnant, and she's got uh, gallstones, gallbladder stones, and okay. has gallbladder attacks. Okay. They don't want to take her gallbladder out when she's pregnant, I hope. Well, they're, they're saying they're not going to now while she's pregnant, but they're, that's kind of uh, first on the list as soon well, as the baby is delivered next that's month. That's because they're so boneheads. That's because they're yeah. boneheads. You don't take a yeah. gallbladder out because you got gallstones. It's one of the most boneheaded of... There's a lot of boneheaded medical procedures and, and medical philosophies, and one of the worst is to remove the gallbladder because you got stones. Folks, you need your gallbladder. It is not extra. It is not redundant. It's not unnecessary. It's critical. The gallbladder is a bag of bile. Bladder is Latin or medicalese for, for a bag, and the gallbladder is a bag, a, a biological bag. It holds on to bile. When we eat food, food goes in our stomach, and then it goes into the intestine from the stomach, and as soon as food goes into the intestine from the stomach, a big shot of bile goes into the intestine from the gallbladder. And that bile breaks up the fatty materials, and that gallbladder helps us process and releases um, and absorb and utilize vitamin A and vitamin D and vitamin E and vitamin K and essential fats and phytonutrients and on and on and on from the food. Without a gallbladder, you're still going to have a little tiny bit of bile that comes into the intestine from the liver, but you're going to miss that big, huge hit, and that's going to wreak havoc on digestive health as well as the absorption of these nutrients that are so important for health. So you need your gallbladder. You need it. The question then becomes is why do you have gallstones? Gallstones are a sign that the body is somehow not, uh, th there's something wrong with how the body's producing bile. Bile becomes concentrated and then cholesterol and other material in the bile starts to accumulate and you get these hard stones. It's basically sticky, sludgy bile. Why is bile sticky and sludgy? Toxicity, basically food toxicity. So. Adam in Colorado, got two things going on with your wife. Number one, she's got some kind of food problem. She probably knows she's got a history of digestive issues, food intolerances, food allergies, and if she doesn't know, she's got to find it. Second thing that's involved with gallstones is estrogen, the female hormone estrogen, but I don't really talk about that as much because estrogen problems are also associated with, with uh, digestive health issues. So yes, estrogen is involved, but primarily or at the fundamental level, you're dealing with a digestive health issue, probably with dysbiosis, which is messed up gut bacteria, which are involved in estrogen as well. So here's what you need to do. Number one, she's got to focus on foods that cause problems, constipation especially, but it could be anything, loose stools, bloating, gas, whatever and then eliminate those foods. The second thing for gallstones, and that's the most important thing, uh, food elimination, elimination of problem foods, number one, okay? Make sense, Adam? Okay, okay yes. number one. Number two, what you wanna do is you wanna start to uh, support the microbiome. That means the, the world or the universe of bacteria that live in the intestine. Get her on the biolumin nightly essence immediately, have her eating fermented foods, 
uh, things like uh, the Jordan Rubin products, the, the probiotic enriched cheese, the Amasign, the Swear V. Just, just get online and, uh, on brightsideben.com and go through the Jordan Rubin Beyond Organic products and pick the, pick the ones you like. They're all great and they're all loaded with probiotics. So buy Illumin Nightly Essence, the Amasign, the Swear V, and the probiotic enriched cheese, if she can do cheese, of course. And then uh, fermented foods. Fermented cabbage is especially helpful for the digestive tract. Then you want to make sure that she's using things that support uh, the breakdown of foods, especially the ultimate enzymes and apple cider vinegar. She may want to get some extra bile, B-I-L-E, bile salts, and that will help her make bile and help uh, help uh, uh, dilute the bile so it's not as saturated and stones aren't as saturated. Lecithin is unbelievably helpful for gallstones and for the gallbladder. Bile itself is composed of lecithin, so you can use lecithin supplements. Sometimes that alone makes a big difference. Sometimes that alone helps uh, eliminate gallstones. So make sure she's using lecithin throughout the day, especially after fatty meals. And then if you want to throw a couple other things in there, the Z-Radical is just, is just a good all-around digestive support supplement. And then bio-building nutrients like taurine, T-A-U-R-I-N-E, and glycine, G-L-Y-C-I-N-E, can also help. And, of course, if you want to throw in some extra bile salts, that can help too, as I said, as I said earlier. So focus on the digestive system. Use probiotics and fermented foods. And then eliminating problem foods. Gallstones need to be treated as a digestive health issue. It is not a reason to enrich your doctor or the medical model and allow them to cut into the body and yank out a very important structure like the gallbladder. All right? All right. Thank you so much. One last thing, Adam. She may also want some essential fatty acids. Not only will that help her with her fat metabolism and with making bile, essential fatty acids are important for making bile, but also help with the baby, building the baby's brain. Ultimate EFA is maybe three, three, uh, three capsules three times a day. Thanks so much for your call. Adam, appreciate it. Hope we helped you out. Hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Ted Anderson telling you about Jordan Rubin's Beyond Organic Green-Fed Raw Cheddar Artesian Cheese featuring whole milk created through ancient dairy breeding, unpasteurized, untreated whole milk on the same farm the cows graze, containing natural sources of omega-3s, CLA protein, calcium, probiotics, and enzymes. I have never tasted cheese this good, and you need to try it. Contact your Longevity distributor or call 877-878-4203 or go to GCNteam.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone at 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Healthy elimination is essential to high energy, a cheerful mood, and prevention of disease. Some of the founders of our modern holistic health thinking state that disease begins in a toxic colon. A toxic intestinal tract is the foundation for virtually all degenerative disease, and a clean and well-moving intestinal tract is the foundation of health. I just want to say that you folks have an amazing product. I've taken whey protein products for years, and I've never noticed results I have with your product. I've suffered with bouts of constipation most of my life. Within a few days of taking One World Whey, I know 
notice a dramatic change. Also, in the past few years, I've experienced symptoms associated with diabetes. I feel horrible when I've had too much sugar, and I've been getting the foot pain as well. But I've noticed in the past week or so, I'm not feeling bad anymore, and the foot pain is gone. I'm just finishing up a five-pound top I ordered and just got off the phone ordering more. I love your product. Thank you. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325. Or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. This is big! By popular demand, the Freeze Dry Guys Giant Factory Authorized Sale has been extended. Now through August, save 30 to 45% on number 10 cans of high quality Mountain House freeze dried foods from the Freeze Dry Guy. Now is the time to stock up on all factory fresh stock of the finest, best tasting, longest proven shelf life foods in the industry at giant savings of 30 to 45%. But hurry, supplies are limited, so this sale is only through the end of August. Call 866 404 3663. Free shipping to the lower 48 states. Click freezedryguide.com or call 866-404-3663. That's freezedryguide.com. Hurry! The giant factory authorized Mountain House sale with savings of 30 to 45% is extended through August. From the Freeze Dry Guy, the finest freeze-dried and dehydrated foods available anywhere for long-term storage. Independently leading the way for the nation. Compelling talk. For every political persuasion, we are GCN. All right, back to the phones we go. John in Texas, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side, buddy. Hey, hey man, how you doing? Doing good. What's cooking, my man? Hey, I've got a buddy that's dealing with uh, gynecomastia. Gynecomastia. Uh, you know oh, yeah. yeah that's just, a very unpleasant, uh, unpleasant health issue where men develop breasts. And it's related to the hormone estrogen and can also be related to prescription medication. There's actually a lot of commercials now running from lawyers saying, Did your, does your boy have gynecomastia and was he prescribed ADD drugs? Because apparently ADD drugs can do it. It's, uh, it's a hormonal condition. It's associated with the hormone estrogen and it can also be associated with prescription drugs. Uh, it's, uh, tell me a little bit about your friend. Is, is somebody you know really well? Do you know any, any of the stuff he's got going on? Any health conditions? Yeah, he, he well, uh, he said when he was younger, he had uh, he had to take a, a butyr off for it to help him breathe better when he was a baby. All right, well, that could um, cert certainly had something to do with it, but more than likely, uh, he's got asthma or he's got some kind of respiratory problem. Is that what you're saying? No, that this was when he was uh, younger. He said he doesn't uh, have it. Well, he still he's got something else percolating in his body. Here's the issue, John. When you have gynecomastia or any other health condition, they are, they are symptomology, they're signs. They're not problems. Yeah, they're problematic, obviously. Nobody wants, you no know, guys want to have breasts. That's not a good thing. But that's not where the problem lies. Those are the signs of the problem. And this is so important. When we have a problem or we have a health challenge, we got to understand that the health challenge, as unpleasant as it may be, is not the problem. It's not where we want to work. So you got to work backwards. Anybody who has a health challenge of any kind, underneath you're always going to find this triangle of disease that we talk about all the time, the adrenal glands in the thyroid, the blood sugar system, and the digestive system. And primarily it's going to be blood sugar related and digestive system related. Can't work on the breasts. They're, they're there. That's the end. That's the end result. The gynecomastia, the symptoms of gynecomastia, the breast development, that's the end. What you got to do is you work, got to work on the causal level or at the causal level, and that's always going to be related to blood sugar and then to the digestive system, and of course the adrenals and the thyroid are also involved, but blood sugar and digestion is where you want to work. First things first, so start to work on blood sugar issues, that means, that means uh, uh, if there's any kind of diabetes or there's any kind of uh, uh, pre-diabetes condition, weight gain problems, blood pressure problems, all of these are indicators that he's not utilizing sugar correctly, weaning himself off of sugar, eating more protein foods, and using sugar metabolizing nutrients, especially the sweeties, which is chromium vanadium, the B vitamins, which you'll get in the, in the Healthy Start Pack, and the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, which everybody needs. I would also probably throw in the Z Radical. Then you want to make sure he's digesting correctly, especially fats, the hormone estrogen, as I say, is involved in gynecomastia and breast development, and there's a very important relationship between fat digestion, fat metabolism, and probiotics or good bacteria. 
uh, and estrogen. So you want to make sure that he's processing and digesting his food correctly, you, uh, eliminating problem foods, and then using digestive enzymes and apple cider vinegar. All the things we talked about with our last caller would probably be relevant. Lecithin, choline, uh, taurine, these are all in the, in the interest of helping, uh, helping the body uh, metabolize fats and make bile. And then, of course, it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway, probiotics. The Biolumin Nightly Essence is the best probiotic supplement I know of. 